going on, guys? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well spoken. Um, Rob, I'm curious, when you're fighting a guy, maybe not in your division, but a former champion nonetheless, a little bit extra exciting? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, um, I did it with Cody Garbrandt, obviously Jose Aldo. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's like you, you, you have a lot of film on them. You know, this guy's been fighting, feels like Moreno for the last 10 years, it almost feels like, right? So there's a lot of film on him. Um, you know he's going to bring it. You know he's going to put on an exciting fight. Um, I, I wouldn't say a little more pressure. I think it's, uh, it's you know, it's if you read into all the hype and all the, all the I guess, you know, build up to the fight, you could too. But, I mean, you, you could put more pressure on yourself, but I don't. I don't. I don't see. I see it as him coming to my division, and, and um, I'm, I'm glad to welcome him. Yeah, I was curious about that. Obviously, you're not overlooking anyone, right? You're going to prepare as best you can every time. But is there a part of you that thinks, well, he is smaller and he's coming up. I am going to just have advantages that he can't overcome. Um, no, I think it's still going to be a, a pretty decent size bantamweight. Obviously, a little shorter, but I think size-wise and, and strength-wise, I think he's going to be right there. Um, Obviously, I do have the reach advantage. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, in certain positions, the shorter guy, it, it, it actually is beneficial for them. So I don't want to take it. I don't want to like think, oh, I'm just going to big brother this guy. You know, the, he's going to be there. He's he's been in wars. He's been in a lot of five round fights, and um, and he he always brings it. So uh, I'm taking him very seriously. Is he one of those guys that when you get his name across the desk, it's fun, right? You know, he's a scrapper. You know, it's like oh, okay. Whatever happens, this guy's going to come out and he's going to be swinging for my head and stuff. Is that just extra fun? 100%. You know, we, we asked for this fight after uh, my fight in Miami. It didn't play out. And then it, it eventually came back around. And, um, yeah, you, you know, if he's you step in the cage with uh, Devis and he's going to bring it, he's, he's uh, definitely a fan favorite. He's exciting. And, um, yeah, I just I think our, our, our styles are just going to definitely be fight of the night potential for sure. Is this where you have to sort of – kind of outbox him right you can show that that famous jab and he's going to be swinging maybe with more power punches but you can prove that you're more clinical yeah i want i just want to be more technical cleaner more accurate and then um you know uh if i have to make it ugly get in there with them but uh you know that's, that's like the last game plan you know is just being there and, and get real technical with them yeah. obviously he's look he's not in your division technically but are you still thinking that hey former champion if i win this should push me up the rankings pretty good yeah, hundred percent. You know, he has he has a huge name, um, former champion. Um, but I, I feel like this should put me right back into that conversation. Um, if not, another big fight for sure. You know, and obviously that's all we take. I feel like so. Um, it's one of those things. Is like regardless of of how this fight plays out, I'm gonna fight another big fight. Fight week, extra fun with the little one around. Yes, sir. This is awesome. I love I love having her here. She's she's loving it. She got her baby with her. You know, we, we just we just we just riding. She doesn't seem very camera shy, I have to say. No, I mean, I, it's like, I feel like she's probably had a camera in her face and she was born. You know, if it wasn't a phone, it was, it was one of these guys. So she's, right? Yeah. Exactly. She, she's like, yes. Rob, um, for your camp, did you, are you planning on just uh, take it to him? He's, you know, first time coming up the BAM weight. Do you plan on just sticking it right to him, walking him there? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I know anything else, you know. I, um. You know, I, I definitely don't want to go brawl, you know, big punch for big punch with him and sit there and brawl with him. But, I, yeah, I think naturally I just get in there, try to take the middle and just go straight after it. I mean, with a win like this, where does this going to put you, do you think? Does it get you over the edge? Do, do you obviously you want a big name, but where yeah, does that I mean, land you? You know, I always got to look at the division, see what, who's not booked and, you know, injuries and all that kind of play into it. But uh, yeah, I'm not really looking past him. I'll, I'll let Tyson handle that. And then, um, yeah, just get ready for the next one because, you know, you, yeah, I always say, you know, you keep winning and the, the fights only get harder. So Perfect. Thank you, guys.